this week, we're going to take a look at Navy's offense, uh, kind of take a closer look at the flex bone triple option, what makes them so tough to defend, and kind of all the different ways they like to attack you. So we'll start with kind of their base, their bed, bread and butter uh, triple option. So here, this is their game against Memphis, their only loss of the season. Memphis comes out with kind of an odd front look. So you have a nose head up on the center. You have two ends or tackles, whatever you want to call them, head up on the offensive tackles. You have outside linebackers, two backers in the box, your corner, your two safeties, and then there's a receiver in a corner up here as well. So triple option. Why is it called triple option? Because you have three options. Number one here. Number one is the fullback. The fullback will be running the dive. How tight or how wide it is depends on if it's an inside veer or outside veer. But he is the dive. The second option is the quarterback. If he gives a read where he has to pull it, now he is attacking the perimeter. Your third option is the pitch man. He'll come from here on this play. They could bring it from the same side as well. They could bring it from this side, but here it's from this side. So you're, the quarterback is looking first dive, second keep, third if I'm forced to pitch, pitch. So that's one, two, three, triple option. So what's the reads on this play right here? So how we're we gonna do this, this is my dive read right here. He is going to be my dive read. If he squeezes down on the dive, so if he come, he sees the dive and he comes in here and takes it away, I'm going to pull the ball. If he doesn't squeeze down on the dive, if he widens or tries to slow play or tries to play for the quarterback, that's going to be a give read. The pitch man, if we get to that phase, will be here. So if I am given a pull read by this lineman, then I, the next phase is the pitch read. The offensive lineman, so we're going to engage here. Backside, we're going to kind of scoop the backside, making sure I get no backside penetration. Sometimes they'll cut it. Um, we're going, guards going downfield. We're leaving these two unblocked. So he's going to try to arc outside here. But what ends up happening, you'll see, is he gets engaged. If he's engaged, you end up taking him. But he's, these guys are both trying to get the second level. We'll leave these two guys unblocked. Let the quarterback read them. So now he becomes an extra blocker here. So now you look. You got two blockers coming free here. And theoretically, another blocker coming here. I'm reading these two guys. I've picked up a numbers advantage. So let's watch this play and kind of see how this one unfolds. This will be the first option of the triple option. So right here, your dive read goes outside. So he doesn't he doesn't fly down and take away the dive. And then you can see the backfield action. Right now, you don't know which way this thing's going to go. They could run type of, some type of counter where he reverses out and comes back and attacks this way. So it kind of keeps everybody, kind of freezes them for a second, right? So right here, nobody takes the dive. So that's an easy give read. They pick up three or four here, but that's one that could get creased later on, especially if they hit some of the outside stuff a little bit more. So right there, eyes here. He doesn't take away the dive. He's coming out this way. Give the dive. That's an easy read. The guard kind of misses on the second level. If he's able to get to that block, they got a much better play. But there's the first option. Right here. ECU's uh, played it sometimes in a four-man front. So this is the dive read right here. Here is your dive read. You'll have him leading up. He's going to come down here and kind of just pin. And they're looking to get a second level here. The rest of the linemen are kind of, if they don't have anybody on them, Looking to get the second level, kind of step and play side, making sure nothing get no penetration. Here you see a cut happening. But here's the read for the dive. So right here, 
he takes the dive. So the quarterback would have left the ball in there. He's getting tackled right there. But he makes the right read. Quarterback pulls it. And so now he's got a lead blocker out here. And if somebody comes up and forces the pitch, right, your second option, here's your first option, getting tackled. Your second option is a quarterback keeping it. Your third option is if somebody comes up and forces the pitch, I can pitch it out. Right here, nobody ever forces the pitch, and the quarterback is a really good athlete. He's probably the most dangerous guy on the Navy offense. He's the one you're going to have to really contain. Nobody forces the pitch. He keeps it himself and scores. So there's the second option in the triple option. And so now here against Tulsa, we'll see the third option. So again, dive read. Pitch read. The tackle here has got a tough job. He's going to try to release inside and then get back out. He doesn't quite get there. But this end doesn't play. This is kind of what you're going to see if these guys don't play assignment sound. right? Coach Strong talked about if I'm the dive guy, i got to take the dive. If I'm the quarterback guy, i got to take the quarterback. Well, here he kind of freelances. And he's not sure if he's the dive guy or the quarterback guy. And he he kind of kills the play when they may have been able to defend it okay because this guy does this guy here – this backer does a pretty good job of beating the tackle. And that's where you're going to have to win. You're going to have to win on the perimeter and defeat perimeter blocks. If you can do that, you have a chance to stop the, the Navy run game. If you can defeat those perimeter blocks, if your corners and safeties can come up and make plays, and um, it's always good if your linebackers can come up and make tackles. But So right here, there's the dive read. First option right there, taken away. He looks like right here, this end looks like he's in really good position to take away the second option, which is the quarterback. As the quarterback goes out, the end's eyes are still in here. Or he's trying to play this really weird. I don't know. But his eyes are on the dive. If he takes the quarterback, this linebacker right, this linebacker here has beaten his man. You may be able to play this and make a play in the backfield. But the end freelances, and if you freelance against Navy, you're going to be in trouble. So he's able to now pitch off this linebacker who got off his block. And now you have a blocker out here. There's the wing. You have the receiver blocking down here. Here's your safety. Free. He's got to come up and make a play. He misses the tackle, and instead of being a three-yard gain, he goes for nine. All because a mistake here, a lack of focus on one play. I didn't do my job, and then the safety takes a poor angle and misses the tackle. So instead of possibly a two-yard loss, it's a nine-yard gain. And then later they played a little bit better, but again, triple option here. Dive read. Pitch read. Option one, option two, option three. There's option one. They took it away. Option one is taken away. I still got option two and option three left. The pitch is forced. And these guys are so good. These two are so good with their pitch relationship that you're not often going to be able to slow play it. So slow play it and kind of play in between both of them. They'll do a good enough job that where the pitch is almost happening. Here it's a little bit behind, but there will be times where the pitch is almost happening at the same level. And then this guy has no chance because he's already behind. He does a pretty good job chasing it down. And then what's key here is we just talked about in the last play. If you can defeat, here's the safety. If you can defeat the perimeter blocks, you give yourself a chance. They go for the cut. The safety defeats the perimeter block. He's able to come up and make a tackle. It's still a five-yard gain. But in second and eight, this gets you at least into third down where you have a chance to get off the field instead of giving up the first down here. Another example against Tulsa. Dive read is here. They only had four guys here, and they looked like they were running some kind of slant or something. So there's not even really a pitch read. It ends up being this backer ends up being the pitch read. There's nobody in the line of scrimmage. Tackle arcs and leaves. So now you got blockers out here.
and that's an easy pitch read for the quarterback. So first option gets taken away. As soon as he commits to him, it's over. Easy pitch to the third option here. And again, this isn't crazy difficult. It takes a lot of practice repetition and a lot of time to get this good at this offense, but that's an easy 11 yards right there for them. And that's why they're doing so well this year. Another triple against Memphis. Dive, pitch. Now that you've seen it a few times, we'll go through them a little quicker. Dive gets taken right here. There's your number one options taken. You still got two and three left. And you have a lead blocker for the player in the alley. Quarterback makes a pitch. Lead block in the alley. The back just outruns the blocking. And takes it downfield for a nice game. Here's one that, uh, put this on here. Here's one that Memphis plays pretty well. They decide to blitz. But your dive player takes away the dive. And then he kind of tries to play in between, and he gets him. But if you notice here, so he's playing in between. He tries to fake him out, but it's pretty good. But the, the key thing is here and here, they're getting off blocks. Right there, defeated a perimeter block. He forces the pitch here. Gr crazy pitch, but look, I defeated a perimeter block here. I defeated a block here. I'm defeating a perimeter block here. So now I can rally to the ball. And whereas earlier, so this is later in the game, right? This is fourth quarter here. They've seen it for a while. Earlier, you saw them gash them with this same play. Here, I'm defeating the blocks on the perimeter. I rally to the ball. And a play that probably just went for 20 yards the play before and now going for minus two here. All right, so just another flavor here. This isn't a triple option uh, per se. This looks more like a, uh, this is like a double option here. Some call when you pull the guard the counter option and you'll see like a true counter option later. But now it's a double option. So I got the quarterback's the first option. The, my pitch guy's the second option. Here they'll pull a guard. We'll kind of go through this a little quicker. Quarterback pitches it. Picks up five or six. When they run this, I think they want him, the quarterback, to be the one keeping the ball. And you'll see later, there's times it looks like almost like quarterback sweep where they make it look like double option, but I think they're not. It's more like quarterback sweep, and that could even be the case here um, until he pitches there. But there are times where it looks just like this, but I think they want the quarterback to keep it. Pitch is forced, or he thinks he's got leverage, so he pitches it out there. So here's kind of a true example, true look at the counter option. So the guard's going to pull. They're going to fake the dive here. So they've just been faking the dive and then coming the same way, right? They've just seen the dive here. And the pitch was coming from this side, right? Now they're going to pull the guard back side. The dive's actually going to come in here and fill for the pulling guard. And they're running the double option. First option there. Second option is the pitch man coming back this way. So here's your pitch man. There's your pitch read right there. Pitch for a walk-in touchdown. So you get used to the triple. They come with the counter where the opening looks just like the triple and now they pull a guard, block your end, and pitch off your backside. Here's a closer look at it right here. You can see the fullback coming in here to fill for the guard. Quick fake to him. Now I'm working this side. Cut block here. Going to cut somebody in the end zone. And now I'm pitching off him. And again, easy walk-in touchdown. 
same thing. Now your pitch man says, well, you got me last time. Counter option. Here's your pitch man. You got me last time. That guy walked in for a touchdown. I'm not going to let that happen again. Well, now you let the best athlete on the team keep it. And he smokes you for a touchdown too. So there are certain times where you cannot be right against this offense. No matter what you do, it's, you're going to have to defeat uh, blocks and win matchups. But you got to put yourself in the best position to do that, which Tulsa wasn't really doing here. So now this is a, this is a look at another kind of run look is midline. So midline, we're going to read this guy. He's still a dive read. The wing's going to release inside to block. So it's another that's another form of double option. Here's your first option. The quarterback's your second option. This guard will release is releasing the second level. They'll run the pitch track to try to influence him. So he's going to run the pitch track to try to influence him. But they're not reading anybody for pitch. It's a keep the whole way. You think it's pitch. You get out of sequence. And then he runs right by you. Because like I said, he's the best athlete on the team. So let's look at this one a little more, a little closer. This is the same play, just a different view of it. So here's the dive read right here. He commits to the dive. This is your wing making a good block. There's your tackle. And there's one more thing that's interesting about this play right here. Here's the center. This is a tight end. So where's the left tackle? He's come over here. This is an overload, unbalanced formation. So now they have, there's your right guard. There's your right tackle. And just to get some extra beef on this side, you brought over the left tackle. So now you're reading him. He's still my dive read. But now I got my left tackle instead of a tight end. So right, they probably like this front look. They know if I if I get in this look where I have a tight end, this is the front I'm going to get. So instead of saying, okay, we'll have their tight end matchup here, well, let's switch them out. So now my left tackle's here, and he's really going to dominate this guy, right? He's my left tackle on a smaller guy. My right tackle can just go to the second level because we're going to read him and get a good – down block here. My wing will insert on the linebacker. So now I got numbers. He takes the dive. And now we're off to the races. So that's midline. And this could, again, this could be double option here. I want, to, I want you to see this formation because this is something they'll come to in short yardage a lot and they, they have a nice little counter off this coming up. But this is something I would say is probably double option. But it, this is the one where it could be like a quarterback sweep because he, he's lead blocking the whole way. This could still be the pitch man, but he keeps this quite a bit on, on this look. So it could be double option where it's one and two here and he's the pitch guy all the way out there. But they're blocking, you know, they're they're blocking on the perimeter here. So I don't know if this is designed this way and the, the pitch is to pull that guy out of there and it's like a designed quarterback sweep or if it is a double option. Pretty much same thing here. Is this a designed quarterback sweep or is this double option? I'm not sure. There's no fake here. He's lead blocking the whole way. Um, he They're blocking this end man. And he's going inside. So that would lead me to believe, unless they're making, you know, the corner the pitch man, which is possible. These guys are so good at this, they can kind of play with it. I would. This would lead me to believe that they're, the pitch track is just to get him out of there. And it's really like quarterback sweep. So it could be double option, could be quarterback sweep. So you've gotten triple option, you got double option, you got encounter option. 
No, possibly getting quarterback sweep, possibly getting double option. Same look here. And like I said, this guy is dynamic. So you're just inserting those guys as blockers. Unless he is the pitch read, which is possible, this is probably just quarterback sweep. And he takes it all the way. I believe they put him down to one. Same thing, double option. We'll just let this run. You've seen it a few times. All right, it's either double option or quarterback sweep. We'll give you one in slow motion. Everyone's just down, down, down. A fullback or B back is just lead blocking. And now you got your best athlete in space. And I would say he is their best athlete. He's a really, really explosive runner. So here's another series. So now they're going to fake to him. And the quarterback's just going to step like he's maybe keeping it, like it's a dive read, but he's really just going to turn in here and follow him. They like this in short yardage. So here you go. Follow him in there. And he becomes a lead blocker for me. So we ran, I've run versions of this kind of stuff in the past, not necessarily the formations, but some of the run plays try to steal them because they're just so effective. We called this one follow. I don't know if they called it that. The flex bone purists are probably going crazy if there's any watching. But we called it follow. So again, fake the dive. That B back becomes the blocker. And your quarterback just follows him into the hole. So again, it looks just the same as the dive read for the triple option, but it's not. And here, here it is again. This funky formation in short yardage. Follow him into the end zone. And he's a good, not only is he explosive, but he's a tough runner. All right, so they'll also run kind of your, right, so, the, the, so this poor guy right here has been red for dive, maybe even red for pitch, and now they're going to pull, run belly or G, so it's down, 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 and kick him out with the guard. So that guy, they're they're going to put a lot of thoughts in your edge players' heads. Am I being red? Am I being kicked out? Am I just being left alone? You know, what's happening? So they put you in conflict a lot mentally. And sometimes you're just kind of seeing ghosts out there and you get kicked out by a guard. They also just run some, like, looks like inside zone or ISO here where they fold in the wing back. And just hand it off. It looks like the dive, but it's a give the whole way. They're not reading anybody. Do it here on the goal line, a similar look. When we're not reading anybody, we're just handing it off the whole time and we got guys leading. And then they add in the, and then they got rocket toss. Which is he's gonna motion. And I wanna snap it when he's about here and hit the toss to him, kinda out here wide. And then they're just leaving people, ripping and running, leading up here. You'll get kind of one pin there, and everybody else is gone. We're just trying to get that edge. We've already got most of the defense outflanked where the ball is. If you draw a line right here, you've got the ball carrier and three blockers on kind of two or three guys, and maybe possibly four. But he's got a head start in that race, and you just need a first down. So that's rocket toss, that toss with the motion, just trying to get him outside and get you out flank. And then they'll do this off rocket toss, but also do this off their normal stuff. If you start flying out too hard, if you see, you know, the dive and you're flying over here, or you see the rocket motion, you start flying. Then they come back with the true counter guard kicking out tackle coming to where it looks like the toss right here because they'll just run straight toss out of that to the fullback it looks like toss here and then they bring it and hand it back coming across on the counter and Memphis does a pretty good job with this and is able to string it out but still about squeezes through there 
And then they'll run some what looks like trap. We'll kind of go through these where they're pulling the backside guard. So we'll be down, down, pull the backside guard and kick. Belly's the front side guard, trap's the backside guard. This is their backups. They just kind of wanted you to see the scheme, but still a great run here. Then I think this is probably trap again with kind of the full time guys in it. So if you're getting upfield, which a lot of teams don't do as much against these option offenses because you can get caught out quite easily doing that. But then they can throw this this kind of into the mix as well. But they are doing some, this is kind of the new stuff they're doing. They are doing some stuff out of the gun. So here, kind of a two receiver to each side look. And they're going to run jet sweep. But it's not really jet sweep. It's what some people call inverted veer, power read. So we talked about power in the film room. But it's down, down, down. So they'll probably double him back to this backer here. This guard is going to pull. And we're going to leave the end alone. I'm going to wrap up here. So in power, we block, you know, we and this we block this defensive end on power, right? We kick him out. We're going to read him here. So we have the jet sweep coming. If he widens out with the jet sweep, the quarterback keeps it up in there and follows this pulling guard. If he sits here and plays it, he sees the down block and he squeezes it, we give the jet sweep, which is what happens here. He kind of slow plays the down block, squeezes a little bit. The back's going to have him outflanked, so they give it. So even on a simple jet sweep, they're running the option. And now here it is the other way where the quarterback keeps it. So right here you see the end. He tries to slow play it, but they're so good at the the ball handling and the handiwork of the offense. Right here, this guy's out of position. You see here's the pulling guard. The quarterback keeps it up in there on third and eight for a 10-yard gain and a first down. So they also will get in there and throw a little bit. And this is kind of the, not necessarily the new wrinkle, but kind of what they're a lot better at than they were last year, I'd imagine, is this throwing game. Here's just a simple speed out, but I can keep you honest. But this is where they're really deadly is the play action throwing game. So they show you all this stuff. We just probably, I don't know how long we've been going, but they all these different kind of run plays of variations of them and how they can hurt you. And now they throw this in the mix where it looks just like one of their run plays. They pull it out. You have a flat player, a kind of an intermediate middle third player. So low third, intermediate third, and then the corner route is like a high third. So it's just kind of we're flooding that third of the field there. So this is just like a flood concept off the play action. Quarterback makes a really nice throw for a touchdown. Then we come back later. We showed you, here's the safeties right here. These are the two safeties. Safeties are low, and they have to be involved in the run game, right? So a little play action, you get a shot over the top. Good ball, good catch. With just the effects of play action, watch the safety bites up. That's just enough. You get him behind. And sometimes it'll happen. So there they had a receiver. Here's the wing back that a lot of times, right, it's triple option. He's a pitch guy, and then I'm leading, I'm blocking the safety, right? So the safety's like, I'm, I'm sick of being cut by this guy. I'm coming up here. I'm going to make a play. I'm flying upfield. Well, this is why you can't do that. Flies up field, leaves the middle of the field wide open. Easy play right here. Similar thing. Safety's, this safety is taking an angle out here right now, thinking it's coming out wide. And he gets left in the dust. And the turf monster, the same person who made the tackle on Bentley Sanders on that kickoff return, 
was that uh, the Navy ECU game a few weeks ago makes the tackle here. But again, the safety. Getting too nosy in the run game. So this is how they control you. You decide, okay, we've talked about it. The perimeter guys are going to have to be involved in the run game. The safety's got to come up and make plays. So now if your safety starts coming up and making too many plays, they sprinkle this one in on you. Oops. Bye-bye. And then on top of all that, They'll even run some trick plays. So here you got, it makes it look like the triple option and it's just reverse. Maybe a clip there, they don't call it. But here's 10 yards on a trick play. And it's gonna make, it's gonna keep you honest, right? Now you gotta really play honest on the backside. And then they'll mix this one in here. Rocket toss, no wait, we're gonna throw it back. So it's not just the simple same plays over and over and over again. It's a little bit of that. It's tags, it's new wrinkles every week, and then now they're throwing in some trick plays. So you can see why they are so difficult to defend. If you can kind of commit to this scheme and recruit the right players for it, it's really tough to defend. I don't know if you can win at a real high level with it just because it's hard to recruit to it. But you can kind of see why this, this um, offense has been so difficult for everyone they've played to stop. You have the option. You have the just the, you know the regular run game. You have them getting the shotgun, running an inverted veer, or uh, you know power read. You've got them play action passing. Now you got them throwing in the trick plays. It's a tough assignment for the, any defense, and it'll be interesting to see how USF plays them this weekend. One thing you can't do is just line up in the same front and give them the same look over and over again. If you do that, you're going to be dead in the water. You either have to show them different fronts or show them some different stuff after the snap. So maybe I, I come out in a bare front if they want to come out. And that, I don't know what they're going to do. But let's say you come out in a bare front. Well, then you better move and do some different things after the snap. Because if you just come out in the bare front, after the first couple of drives, they're going to have you figured out. So you, it's, it's, it's a constant chess game, a constant cat and mouse game uh, between the offense and defense, especially when you're playing a team like Navy who can figure out pretty quick. So that'll be a really interesting matchup this weekend.